So I have been talking to a lot of business owners, uh, especially my clients, and I've been having this uh, outreach effort. And um, it seems to it seems like they have uh, some concerns, right? Right now, they might not experiencing the effect of this uh, pandemic uh, as much as the businesses in different categories, such as uh, retails or restaurants. But yet, they all anticipate um, there's going to be uh, a dip in sales three to six months from now. And that is re really because uh, three reasons. One is there is a disruption of the supply chain, right? Um, from what they are telling me, um, so far, the manufacturer that they outsource to in Asia, they only have 30 to 40% of the pre-COVID-19 uh, volume, right? right. So there's right. a slow, slowness of supplying the goods uh, and have them ship here in Asia to meet the demand. You know, th there's another factor at work that I think a lot of people aren't talking a lot about. Um, you know, part of my part of what I studied in college was economics, uh, with a mm -hmm. with sort of a subspecialty in public policy, and uh, and and banking. A lot of people don't really understand how the economy actually works. And mm -hmm. a lot of people who say they know how the economy works, they don't act like they know how the economy works, right? I'm not suggesting that your clients don't understand how the economy works. I know you tend to cater to a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more intelligent clientele, but mm -hmm. we should not assume that their customers actually understand how the economy works, right? So there's, there's you and me up here, Mm -hmm. You and me over here, and then there's your clients, and then there's the customers of your clients. So we have to help the customers of your clients understand mm -hmm. how the economy works so that they make smarter, more entrepreneurially mature, more rational, better decisions, right? And, and the thing is, you know, you don't save your way to growth. Businesses don't grow because people save. Businesses grow because people invest. Mm -hmm. And so the customer of your client, they're buying products. They're buying, they're buying products. Why are they buying products? They're not buying products because they're trying to start a collection, right? They're not starting a museum. They're mm -hmm. buying products so they have inventory in order to sell it, right? And if they, right. if they cancel their order, if they postpone their order, they're essentially guaranteeing that they're gonna have a shortage of supply when the economy begins to come back. 